it's, it's a difficult question to answer. And, and the very simple reason is this, that number one, this is a PR event for Kenya. Mm -hmm. What do I mean a PR event? First and foremost, you've got a lot of foreign dignitaries coming into your country. You need to put your best foot forward. You need to put on your best garment, have the, roll out the red carpet for them because later on you will need to negotiate with them various trade deals and things like that. And human beings are human beings. The mm -hmm. sitting head of state, if he's treated well, when you come to visit his country, he will remember the treatment that you gave him and that would influence the country. Mm -hmm. The second thing is, let's also remember, is that the media is going to be covering this. This will be covered on CNN, it will be covered on Al Jazeera, the whole world will be looking at Kenya. And we do want to make a good impression no matter what. Now, the question then becomes, is 384 million a good enough bill to pay? But the counter argument is this, to advertise on CNN, that scroll that goes there, you know, visit Malaysia, visit wherever costs hundreds of millions already. So here we are with a free, free advertising platform where our country will be showcased across the world on one day. Is it worth the 384 million? I think so. But there is also the other side. The other side is not how much we're spending on this event. It's how much we spend as a country and on what we spend it for. That's a totally different argument and different conversation. Where as a country, we need to have our citizens equipped enough to know, mm -hmm. for example, that our budget is in excess of one and a half trillion Kenya shillings. Mm -hmm. So what is the value we get from that? That's the question we should really interrogate. But for me, 384 million for an advertisement for this country, and it's fair enough. It's fair mm -hmm. enough.